It was over 30 years ago that a small group went public with its plan to take control of the Southern Baptist Convention. Why should we care about it today? Texas Baptist Committed exists to help Baptists stay free to worship and to read and interpret Scripture as they are led of the Holy Spirit. We believe that the principles that drove the Baptist movement from the beginning are biblical, God-given principles, and that they provide the best foundation for genuine worship of and relationship with Jesus Christ. Principles such as soul freedom, priesthood of the believer, local church autonomy, and religious liberty for all people and separation of church and state. By the time the June 1990 annual meeting ended, fundamentalist leaders had gained absolute control of the SBC. From that day forward, they moved swiftly and relentlessly to enforce a narrow, literalist interpretation of Scripture on seminary professors and administrators, leaders of institutions and agencies, and ultimately even missionaries. A few examples. They took Baptist Press, an engine of truth, and turned it into a propaganda machine. They drove out any seminary presidents who insisted on supporting the freedom and integrity of their faculty and students. They revised the Baptist faith and message to reflect their own narrow inter scriptural interpretations and approach, and then used it as a creed to bind people's consciences and convictions. In that vein, they required missionaries to sign statements affirming complete agreement with every word of it. Finally, they began ordering and assigning missionaries to places of service rather than allowing them to serve where they believed God had called them. George Santayana said, Those who do not remember the past are condemned to repeat it. In the 1990s, fundamentalists failed in their attempt to gain control of the Baptist General Convention of Texas because Texas Baptists committed kept people informed and mobilized to defeat them. Today, fundamentalists in Texas are working hard to gain control of individual churches. That's why it is critical that today's Texas Baptists understand what happened 30 years ago to ensure that it doesn't happen again in Texas or anywhere else. In tomorrow's Baptist Brief, we'll begin remembering the fundamentalist takeover. Thank you.